Hi. Jalapeno poppers, if you ever ordered those when you've been out, you know how good they can be. Well, we wanted to show you today how easy they are to make. And again, they're perfect football foods or crowd foods. We like to use them as a side with a smoked meat here as well. So what I'm gonna do, it's so, so, so simple. And you can add whatever flavors you like, but I'm adding, I have um, eight ounces of cream cheese. Now remember, I always use the cream cheese with one carb. I found that the Fresh Market brand and the Trader Joe's brands have one carb, so does organic valley um, but it's a little pricier but anyway I'm gonna add one cup of bacon bits bacon pieces to um, an eight ounce container of cream cheese now this has been at room temperature so it's relatively soft and I don't think this is gonna be a big enough bowl to stir really well um, the other thing I have is about two cups of shredded cheddar cheese and I'm going to add that. In fact, I think this bowl might be easier to stir. So let's add the cream cheese and bacon to my cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese, I um, shredded that earlier because again, as I've said before, I don't like to use, um, <laughs> I'm gonna just switch and do a bigger bowl altogether. I know I'm not off to a great start. And I, um, I don't like to use pre-shredded cheddar because of the food starches. And I shredded this maybe an hour ago and it's gotten warm, so it wants to stick to the bowl. But anyway, let's get this all mixed up. And the easy part we're gonna do is simply stuff it in our jalapeno poppers. And Grace is gonna help me do that. Um, one of the things I wanna show you too is how we do jalapeno peppers. I had not worked with them um, for at first some time and so I learned a few things the hard way I always learn things the hard way but let me show you how I clean the pot this have been washed so while the jalapenos are whole you want to wash them wash them while they're whole okay before you cut them because once you cut them if you put them under running water you're going to essentially uh, pepper spray yourself and you don't want to do that we found that out the hard way didn't we Grace we so to walk in a certain spot in the kitchen for like because it was too much. Um, so once you cut the tops off, you just want to split them down the middle. I try to split them in ways that they'll lay flat the easiest. When you open them, you're going to see this membrane, and you may want to wear gloves. I know that my hands are burning just a bit from doing all of these e uh, earlier. You can see that comes out really easily. Now we don't like a lot of spice because Grace and I eat these, and so I generally take the seeds and everything out. But what I have here is a thing of water, a bowl of water. I just float it in the water and I'll cut this one out as well and it's really easy to take out like that so once I get it clean I float it in the water and I'm not I don't get pepper sprayed super easy and then I can put them in a colander to dry and I'll do the next so see how easy that was I'm gonna cut the top off I'm gonna look at how they would lay flattest or lie flattest <laughs> and then I'm going to just clean it uh, whoops down the side get seeds everywhere and that's it I'm going to get all those seeds out if you don't if you like the heat and you want to add some of the seeds or leave some of the seeds you can do that and then I just rinse them in that if I put them under the sink um, I could clear the room pretty quickly trust me you don't want to do that okay and we have them now that we have them all clean and I'm working I didn't count them I meant to I'm working with about 18 or so um, jalapenos and we'll see how far this filling goes okay so magically these were done off camera for us <laughs> I'll move this out you can put other spices in here if you like I've used some chopped green onion but basically you're just going to fill it and what i've also done uh, for folks who don't like spice like me i don't like really spicy stuff um, i've also done bell pepper so you can fill bell pepper with it and i use the exact same kind of filling for um, mushrooms stuffed mushrooms we did that at a christmas party one time and it was a huge huge hit um, like I said, you may want to use gloves when you do this. You've got to wash your hands really well to get the oil off. Now, some people don't put bacon in it. They put um, the cream cheese and cheddar cheese, and then they wrap it in bacon. You can do that. Um, if you do that, you might want to pre-cook the bacon just a little bit. It's hard to get the bacon done and have the jalapeno resemble anything kind of lifelike. 
um, because it will overcook quickly. And so you don't wanna do that. So Grace and I are gonna finish stuffing these. We're gonna pop them in the oven and they're in an oven, a 350 to 375 oven. It depends on what else I'm baking at the time. But we're gonna bake these up and we'll give you an idea. They only have to bake for maybe 10 minutes or so. You want them slightly browned. You want this all gooey and melty. You don't wanna overfill them because you don't want it to run all over the kitchen. Um, but it's super easy. And we'll finish up with these in just a minute. We'll show you what we got. Okay, so our jalapeno poppers are ready. <laughs> it looks like the company is almost here. Our jalapeno poppers are ready, and I'm going to put them on a serving plate, but usually they get gone really fast, and so I'm not sure you'll have a chance to transfer them to a serving platter at all. Um, but as you can see, they get brown, and they're a little crusty, crunchy on top, and they're soft in the middle, and the jalapenos are tender but not mushy. And that's it. Those are jalapeno poppers. And Grace, would you like to try some? Yes, please. <laughs> there you go. Because I didn't figure you would get them off the uh, serving platter, onto a serving platter. But that, this recipe made, I had exactly 36 halves, so that would be 18 whole jalapenos. And um, the, the recipe we made made it perfect. So as you can see, they disappear pretty quickly. <laughs> we hope that your family enjoys them as much as mine. Mmm, these are good, honey.